All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how I've been teaching myself Polish. It's actually known to be one of the hardest languages. Um, I think it's within like the top 15. Um, actually, let's check that. So when Google searching the hardest languages, you'll find it's, it says on here, Polish is number three. So even though it's ranked on Google as the third hardest language in the world. So honestly, that's demotivating to hear. It makes me feel like, you know, I just want to quit and give up because I know that there's so many different rules and Slavic languages are also completely different in how they're worded in sentences. There's lots of demotivating things just like that um, when it comes to learning a language. You also hear studies about how it's harder for adults to learn a language compared to kids because they can absorb uh, the language like so easily and hearing stuff like that is just so uh, demotivating for me but I'm not gonna give up and I have so many resources here especially with the internet I have all the resources in the world to learn the language so um, yeah I'm gonna show you guys some of my strategies that I've been using to learn Popol School and learn one of the hardest languages in the world and hopefully I can view this when I'm older and think wow I knew nothing back then and now I know a lot you know so it'd be cool to look back on once I learn a lot more so right now I only know a little bit of Polish but I kind of want to document this so I can also kind of hold myself at risk and kind of show you guys my journey progressing um, and learning Polish so as of right now I can form um, a couple sentences. Trochę rozumiem po polsku. Dzień dobry, jestem Amerykaninem. Mam na imię Trevor albo Tadeusz i mam 22 lata. So I know some numbers. I know briefly like some introductions um, and goodbye. So I know some of the basics, but what I want to do with this is kind of challenge myself to honestly pick up the language a lot more and maybe even start speaking in sentences by the end of this week or the end of like a few weeks from now. Either or, I think this is just gonna benefit me no matter what and give motivation to others who are learning a language. So some of the prerequisites before learning a language would be uh, number one, getting good sleep. Actually just getting at least eight hours of sleep. So getting as much sleep as possible is gonna make sure you retain as much information as possible. We all know that. Number two would also be eating just fruits and vegetables and making sure you're getting all your daily multivitamins, blah, 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 right? We've heard it before. Another thing to know, um, I always make sure I'm either caffeinated or I'm at mental peak of clarity in the day. And so this is gonna ensure that I'm learning as much as possible and I can retain as much as possible. So with that stuff out of the way, you know, the stuff we all know, let's get into uh, some of the things that I'm going to be doing and some of the things that I have been doing recently that's been helping me learn the language. Okay, and these are not really in any particular order at all, but I feel like they're all at a pretty um, high value for what they can teach me. So my girlfriend actually got me a few things this past Christmas that have helped a lot and it's awesome. I mean, so Adriana, thank you so much for these things. I greatly appreciate it and I love it just a regular whatever your language is so for instance polish for dummies it explains all of the basics it's really easy to pronounce it kind of gives you a glimpse into the culture but um this is pretty much just the basics though and this is just going to be like a glimpse over uh the entire language itself and it's kind of like mainly survival phrases now the next thing that i recommend is also getting uh some books that have the language level for instance these are a1 to b1 and these help out a lot they're definitely more advanced and they expect you to know more when you go over these so make sure you're progressing and you're getting stuff that's harder and stuff that you can work towards um my girlfriend got me this as well so doing you jinkuya says like cds that you can play so another thing that's helped a lot is actually audible uh, believe it or not, there's a couple things on there like Primsler. I can link them down below if you want, if you're interested in learning Polish, but um, chances are you can find audiobooks with the language and it'll teach you the language and it helps out a lot. Now there's a couple things that I don't like about them, which is that you just physically can't see it. So actually you can use this as an advantage. You can listen to it and then you can type it in on the next one, which I was going to say, which is Quizlet. Now, 
Quizlet is great. It's you know, it's going to read your flashcards for you in that language. So it'll read it out in Polish and it'll um, then translate it to English. You can create your own flashcards, create different sets. That's actually what I've been doing for a while now. And it's extremely helped because you can also add pictures. I'm extremely visual. So pictures and videos and stuff like that really help out a lot. So pretty much the last two, they're pretty much the same is kind of immersing yourself within the culture. I'm actually living in America right now and I've been doing this by watching a Polish show on Netflix and I'm trying to also get others. So if you guys want to recommend some, leave some down below that are going to have English subtitles. So every single time I was in Poland, I learned so much. Actually, this last time I was there, I was there for only 10 days, I think. Um, this was probably actually a few weeks now that I've been in Poland, but I feel like every single time I really put a stress on like what I can learn, who I can talk to, what can I say to the waiters, waitresses, urging myself, how can I use Polish? How can I be exposed to it more? And this is kind of a whole nother, um, experience for me now. So yeah, another thing I recommend is getting a friend that speaks that language, which that's pretty difficult in itself, I would say but um, that could definitely, definitely help. Another thing I'm looking into is actually getting books for like kids in Polish. And this is gonna help by basically showing me like the basics of phrases, words. It's a step, right? So most of these things that I actually just said, I've been doing recently and it's helped out a lot, but I'm trying to get a focus. So my dad says to me, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? It's kind of the same thing with this. I'm just trying to learn these sets of words in a day, these sets of words in a day, this type of grammatical structure in a day, and that's it. Pretty much just go each at a time, and over time review consistently, and then just keep building upon that. So one thing that I've learned recently is that there's a website called like 1000 words, but basically we're only using about a thousand words a day. So if you can learn those thousand words a day, uh, write them down, read them, listen to them etc etc then that'll help at least with starting the basic conversations and then just honing in on your skills and learning more so uh right now i'm going to get started on this 1000 word list and pretty much write every single one down now i'm not going to write them all down today because that's kind of useless but i'm going to at least do 100 a day and then after writing them down i'm going to put them into quizlet and I also sent this list to my girlfriend and she said there's a few mistakes and errors. So what I'm going to do is actually what she's going to do because she's great and she's awesome. She is going to uh, then revise them for me tomorrow and just look at the mistake. That's one of the biggest things is I think you also have to be super interested obviously in doing it in the first place or you're just not going to have the motivation to do it. So without further ado, I'm going to write down. 100 words, put them into Quizlet, learn, 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 and then kind of review my other list that I've created. All right, one more thing I would like to mention is that I'm sorry for my handwriting. I have dyslexia, I have dysgraphia, pretty much everything that makes me mentally handicapped when it comes to writing, thinking, speaking, stuff like that. So I'm sorry about the handwriting uh, for those of you who hate it. Another thing I wanted to mention that I don't think I did earlier was that, um, you know, most people are saying that they're too busy to learn a language. If you say you're too busy, that means you just simply, um, you know, you don't have time for it, AKA you just, oh well, you know, you got other things to prioritize on. I get that. See, I have two jobs and also I'm going to school full time. If I can do that and still learn a language, do YouTube and still try to do things that I love. Yeah, so if I'm doing these things on the side, then honestly anyone can. And I hope this kind of serves as motivation because seriously, I know this is like so cliche, but seriously, if I can do this, if I can learn a language, at least a few sentences, some words and paragraphs pretty soon, than anyone can. I wrote down all the words now on my list. Now I'm going to review them as well as put them into Quizlet, my other Quizlets, and then maybe read one of the books and then kind of call it a day. You can't really jam too much in a day, um, but you can try. So, this is Torovia. 
All right, so now I've also added some words in from a list from my Audible. That's pretty much it today because I don't, you know, you can't put too much information into your brain the first day um, that you're really trying to start studying and stuff like that. You can't just force it. So I'm just gonna do that for now and then call it a day, relax. And then tomorrow I will review and I'll see what I know and see what I remember from uh, today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, dobranoc. Jeden, dwa, trzy, cztery, pięć, piętnaście, sześć. Przepraszam, czy mówi po angielsku? She answers. No, I don't know. Nie, nie wiem. Nie, nie wiem. Some of the difficulties with Polish is that there's different uh, genders for like each word, so you have to say them differently depending on the gender of person you're talking to or the gender of like the object that it is. So that's pretty difficult. You know, for example, there's so many different, there's masculine, feminine, neuter for like everything. Another one that's, it seems simple, but it's kind of difficult for me is like, for instance, jin, dobri, jin is day, dobri is good. So I'm saying day good, when in reality it means good day. So some of the words, I think it's like a Slavic thing, but some of the words, you're actually kind of saying like flip-flopped backwards compared to how you would say it in English. So it's extremely difficult, but the thing is, it's not like learning a language is just completely easy. Unless you're learning a language that's like very similar to yours and very structured like that. But for example, from this language, Polish, it's actually not simple for me at all. But I'm not gonna let that stop me. One of the things that would definitely help out with this is if I actually was living in Poland, which I plan to be, and I was taking like a class. So if I was getting tutored in like real life and someone was explaining to me and they were showing me how to do it and maybe broke it down for me, that would definitely help because when you don't have any type of mentors, it can be kind of difficult. And also maybe carrying conversations would probably help out a lot because that's just like pretty much constant exposure. All right, so that's pretty much it for today. I'm probably gonna check back within a day or two um, to kind of give an update. But today I basically just wrote some more down for my 1000 word list that I'm doing. Also reviewed, listened to audiobook. So I still haven't really done a whole lot of grammar work, but I've done more of like just basic vocabulary and you know stuff like that and the most 1000 uh, most common words kind of delving more into that so um, I'll check back in a few days and I'll see how my progress is and if I can start linking some words maybe in songs that I like in Polish or um, just watching shows on Netflix which also helps uh, you know just connecting some of these words and hearing it in like a normal day-to-day -day conversation in Polish. So yeah, that's it for today. So uh, I'll check back. All right guys, so it's a day later. And um, one thing I've really noticed that helped is just incorporating Polish a little bit at a time into the day, whether it's in class reading a Polish textbook or it's um, just walking around and listening to an audiobook. Either or, it's helped a lot just doing that. So um, I'm super excited to keep progressing with my journey. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for my next one in this series because I plan to do a conversation completely in Polish just to test out my Polish and kind of evaluate where I am. And then I can't wait to just look at that in the future and look back at it and just realize like how much progress I've actually made. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mam na imię Trawor albo Tadeusz. I dziękuję i do widzenia.